whatever you guys want to call me coming at you guys with a brand new video here on Tasty's channel guys in today's video Tasty is going to be showcasing the NV4 and why it is so damn good he has the world's highest KD in Infinite Warfare just from this one gameplay alone it is a like I said NV4 gameplay in domination on the map throwback and he even got the de-atomizer strike or a tomizer i don't even know how you say it in this game but guys tasty is absolutely insane and in today's video we are going to be talking about the gun that he is using and like i said that is the mv4 guys in my opinion the NV4 is the most powerful gun in any Call of Duty, so I actually just made a video on it on my channel, which will be in the description below if you guys want to come over and check me out. Feel free, it would be greatly appreciated, but the NV4 has the three best traits that a gun can have. So not only is the NV4 super accurate, which is what you need, but it also has the high damage that is going to kill people insanely fast it is accurate and the fire rate is absolutely insane for an assault rifle it almost feels like a submachine gun so what these are going to allow you to do is obviously it's going to allow you to kill enemies a lot quicker which is the objective of the game now just look at how damn good tasty is doing with this gun there's a reason that he's using it and there's a reason that it is the best gun in the game and that's because it has all three of those attributes the damage is insane the accuracy is insane and the firing rate is insane for an assault rifle now this gun is very similar to the m4a1 which we saw in modern warfare 2 and the m4 in modern warfare 3 guys a lot of the guns in this game are similar to guns that we've seen in previous call of duty so the ripper the rpr in this game is like the ripper from ghost then you have the car 45 which is very very similar to the vector in modern warfare 2 and black ops 2 i don't know if the vector was in modern warfare 3 i don't think it was but a lot of these guns are so similar to the guns that we've seen in older call of duties and that's really going to allow us to just be a little bit more comfortable they're going to be bringing back some classics as well such as the m1 from world of war which i'm super hyped about because if you guys don't know already World at War is by far my favorite Call of Duty, but I just have nothing but good to say about this beta. I'm not expecting the NV4 to be as powerful as it is now when it comes out on release, just because I think they're going to be tweaking with it a little bit. They're seeing that it's going to melt kids, and so like I said, I think there's going to be a patch coming soon. I'm not sure about that, but I wouldn't be surprised to see the damage or the firing rate get decreased a little bit. Just because, like I said, this is the gun right now that melts. If you guys want to be good at this game, and if you want to get good gameplays like Casey right here, you guys are definitely going to be wanting to use the MV4. It is just 100% the most insane gun that I've ever seen in the beta. You know, last year we had the KM44 in Black Ops 3, which was absolutely insane during the beta. And then you got into the game and it kind of like died off a little bit after all the patches, so... I wouldn't be surprised to see the MV4 get patched a little bit. You know, I don't think they're really going to kill the gun just because a lot of people right now really seem to like it. But I do think that there is going to be something that they're going to tweak with it just to make it a little bit more of like even keeled, I guess, for opposing players. But that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you guys did enjoy this absolutely insane gameplay from Tasty, smack a like on the video. Leave a comment telling him he is an absolute goat already at this game. It would be greatly appreciated, and if you guys did enjoy the sound of my voice, come over to my channel down in the description below. As always, thank you guys for watching. This has been your boy, Mike MTV. We'll talk to you later. Peace.